These are going to be the best steps to guaranteedly improve your FPS on a low end PC in 2024 in Fortnite. Especially if your PC has up to 8 gigs of RAM, this is perfect for you. I'm going to show you everything you can optimize directly on your PC in order to guaranteedly get a huge FPS increase. Keep in mind guys, always create a restore point in the first place just to make sure if anything messes up on your PC, you can just simply revert to previous versions. And I prepared a whole entire FPS boost pack for you guys, which you can find by the way on discord.gg slash stripes in the hashtag performance packs channel. As you can see, we have a bunch of files here, so we're gonna go through everything. First of all, under stretch resolutions guys, I prepared for you five different game user settings, which already have a specific stretch resolution pre-applied and all of the best settings for the highest performance in Fortnite. So let's just say as an example, you wanna try out 768 times 480, or you to do is actually copy these game user settings, then go here into his top search bar, type in that presenter, temp presenter, click under local, press F on your keyboard for Fortnite game, go into saved, then into config, Windows client, and there you gotta delete the current game user settings or put them somewhere on your desktop and replace them with the new ones from the folder. It's literally that easy guys and you can see everything is pre-applied, especially also your search resolution. If you don't want to change your resolution by accident, you can also go into properties and make sure to put it under read only. But if you are afterwards trying to change maybe any in-game settings, make sure to uncheck this one here again. As mentioned, we have a bunch of them in here, 768, 480, 800 times 600, 1024 times 768, and on and on. These are all the best ones, which I can highly recommend you. Next up, guys, we have my own created clean cache tool, which I'm going to show you. You have to right-click onto it and launch it as an administrator, guys. That one is super important. This is literally the easiest step to increase your overall FPS on your Windows PC, guys, if you keep it nice and clean. This is why I created myself this amazing tool, which I'm giving you, by the way, for absolutely free, which can completely clean up your PC. You can see we can clear temporary files of all of our PC, which we're going to do. Just simply press 1 and enter, and you can see all the temporary data on your entire PC are going to get cleaned up. Now we're going to press enter again to go back into the menu. We can even clean specific browser cache, which is kind of like a nice little thing which I added here. We can also select which browser you're using, which is not really making too big of a difference, but I just included it so it's in this tool. You know, it's like a nice little extra. We have Windows Update Cache, Prefetch Files, which you should, by the way, once in a while actually delete, guys, just to make sure that everything works nice and smooth. The same as well, guys, with your memory dump files, which you should also clean once in a while. So we're gonna press seven here real quick and you can see everything is cleaned up. And what's super important guys is DirectX Shader Cache. This one you should delete actually after every single huge Fortnite update. These are basically data which your GPU is building in order to speed up loading processes on your PC and cleaning these here actually once in a while is super beneficial. So we're going to do this. Now you can see our DirectX Shader Cache is deleted. And the next time you hop into Fortnite, it might take one or two full runs before it actually gets recreated. And then afterwards your FPS should be so much higher. And once we're done with that, we're going to exit here actually the tool. I would highly recommend you to keep this maybe on your PC. It's just a nice little extra tool, you know, to keep your PC nice and clean. And of course, guys, the most important part is as well your ping. This is why you see FNCS winners like Mero, Asian Jeff, and many more pros use Jira Booster. The best part is with my link in the description, you can actually try it out for absolutely free, guys. Jira Booster is going to look for the best DNS server in your near, always making sure that you have the lowest and most stable ping. Even if you already have really good ping, guys, it's still worth it because it's going to make it way more consistent. The Jeff Booster is going to actively in the background search for the best DNS servers, always making sure that you have the best connection to Fortnite. As mentioned, check it out for absolutely free with the link in the description, guys. Then you also have the low performance visuals rec edit, which I just created here myself, which is basically changing the whole entire visual effects on your Windows PC for performance, which is really nice. So just let me click onto it. Then it's going to ask you, do you really want changes on your PC? You're going to press yes and okay, and you're already set. Next up, we also have some of the best registry tweaks, guys, something like the Disable unnecessary processes on your PC, where we can see that we're basically disabling tracking services on our PC, Windows updates, and all of that. The next up, disable telemetry, which is basically a service from Microsoft collecting data of your PC, disabling Cortana, and also disabling OneDrive, which is like this cloud service, which is pre-installed. It's pretty hardware demanding, so therefore, feel free to actually fully disable it. Before we go to the next step, guys, I want you to actually open up your task manager in the first place. Then we're gonna go over to startup, and I want you to disable every single process which you don't need whenever you're starting your PC in the first place, guys. Something like Razer or Steam, maybe SteelSeries, and all of these here really only let on exactly what you need from your PC, guys. You can see my Adobe and everything, my EA launcher, Epic Games, and everything is completely undisabled just to speed up the process of launching your PC. But what we're now going to do is go into a Windows search bar and type in the services, right-click onto it, and run it.
it as an administrator. And this is now where the services list here actually comes in clutch, guys. You're going to open this up, put it somewhere here on the left side of your screen. And now all you got to do is basically find all of these services which are available on your Windows version and make sure to fully disable them. Something like bits, which is basically used for Windows updates and other background tasks. Here we got it, guys. It's directly in the beginning. We're just going to put it to disable real quick and click under apply. The next up, we have Bluetooth or diagnostics policy services, which we can also do real quick here. Then we got it, diagnostics policy services, which for me already is fully disabled, guys. Then we have something like fax, which no one really uses on their PC anyways, you know, like a fax device. Printer spooler is also a very popular one, which you can just simply look up here real quick. Where is it? Printer spooler. There we go. It's already disabled as well on my PC, since of course I did all of the optimizations myself. Just a quick tip, guys, for Windows Search. This one is one of the most hardware demanding ones of your PC. It's basically this small search bar here, and it's not going to work anymore with data, which are not locally stored on your PC. Just so keep in mind, guys, if you use this a ton, you probably shouldn't deactivate it. But this is actually the one which is going to give you the highest improvement of performance on your PC. So therefore, always make sure to create a restore point before you apply any of these tweaks, guys. This is super important. But once we're done with all of these here and we went through this whole entire list, you can close this and now just simply restart your PC and you're all good to go. And what's also one of the best tools if you're on a low-end device is ISLC. You can get this tool as well from the link in my video description and what it does is insane. You can see uh, first of all on the top your total system memory. For me it's right now 48 gigs of RAM but I'm going to explain you how you can use it on your low-end device. You can see your standby list and working set and your free memory and the longer your PC is running the less free memory you're going to have and especially if you have up to 8 gigs of RAM it's super important that you have a ton of free memory because the more you do on your PC or the longer you play the more your standby list and system working set is going to grow and the less free memory you're going to have and if you have a super low Amount, that's when you experience all of these freezes, FPS drops, and overall your system is going to work a lot slower. And as you can see, we have your function which is called Purge Standby List. And just like that, we freed up the whole entire standby list and reset our entire free memory. And this tool can do this automatically for you. All you got to do is, for the list size at least, to keep it on 1024, and then for the free memory is lower than half of your total system memory. So if you're running actually 8 gigs of RAM, you have to put in there 4 times 1024, or you can also just simply type in there 4000. If you have 6 gigs, of RAM on a laptop, you can put in there 3000 and you guys get what I mean. If you're running 6 gigs of RAM on a laptop, maybe with integrated graphics, you can tap in there 3000. So therefore, just simply half of what you have available on your system. For me, it's as mentioned 24000. Then you're going to make sure to check both of these boxes. Then here on the right side, you're going to enable custom timer resolution and put your wanted timer resolution on 0.5. Leave your ISLC polling rate on 1000 and click under start. And then you're already good to go. You can minimize the tool and it's going to launch automatically whenever you start your PC and you never have to worry about having two less free memory. This is especially insane on low-end devices, so therefore make sure that you utilize it. You can find it as well on my Discord in the Performance Packs channel. And for the last method, guys, I want to talk about a custom operating system, which is basically a custom modded version of Windows, and we're talking about Atlas OS. That one is amazing for low-end devices. You know, Windows 10 or 11 usually use between 3 to 4 gigs of RAM, and once you swap over to Atlas OS, this goes all the way down to only 1.6 gig. This is especially amazing for devices, which maybe only have 4 to 8 gigs of RAM, since you're using so much less, guys. I made two full-on videos already about this, where I show you in the first place how to actually get Atlas OS on your lower-end device, and then I even tested it on a lower-end laptop with integrated Vega 7 graphics and 6 gigs of RAM, and I was getting up until 200 FPS in Fortnite. So therefore, both of these videos are right now on screen, and feel free to check them out.